sustainability for the projects for the women in my countries to, to women to become self-confident not short-term projects that gave them and just in tomorrow nothing is there no always we consider that how project can be like sustainable how it can be for long term and how they can have more income from the project that we establish it for women as an example we had a projects for the women in eastern region which was uh, establishing of greenhouses women were busy there and then as a value chain we had uh, a platform demo form for the male then again we had we established other sorting and packing facility for the women it was value chain for the women and it's like a vegetable grow up through women and male help them as well then it come to sorting and packing facility it was the sustainable and women got uh, still women have a lot of income from this uh, projects and as an example we train and we provide the technical uh, uh, like a train a technical assistance for them which were like a we train women scale it we, we like we make them to this woman to be as a scale it woman we provide them with equipments technical training on the job training and enough equipment raw materials and marketing linkage when products come and there is no market so again it's we cannot say it's sustainable so for we work for the marketing of them we linkage with the difference um, local national and international markets like as i mentioned this packing facility we link this packing facility with the international market now the product of the eastern region going to the uh, foreigner countries like uh, uh, india kuwait um, Dubai as well, it's a lot of market in Kabul. Like women cannot believe that the, the cheese she's making in the far, very rural area, it's sold it in Kabul and in very uh, new markets in a good mall. She cannot believe that what we did, that, that, that we call sustainable project. About sustainable agriculture in the United States, there's a debate about whether that should also mean organic and local. Mm -hmm. because of the emphasis on trying to make those projects arguing that environmentally we need to decrease the use of fossil fuels and pesticides and transport food long distances. Is that part of your definition of sustainable? Organic um, production for vegetables and fruit and lo local consumption rather than shipping them long distances? Um. And sometimes, of course, when we started, we had this type of projects. We had it. But after a survey done it through our projects, and we found that uh, we cannot compare our community with with United States because we had a lot of, and we have still, the transportation problems. We have transportation problems. Like a woman cannot bring their products in the city, in the local market even. So we, we link it with the wholesaler. That wholesaler can go and take their products from the community, from their own agriculture land or their, their association from there. So it's a different way how to link their products with the market, how to make them sustainable. It's a different methodology we can use it and we use it that. Is your goal to try to establish more local markets to eliminate the barriers so that women can sell their products locally in the markets? You mean that women can... can so that it would not have to be wholesaled and shipped elsewhere. Mm -hmm. The United States is very concerned about food miles, mm -hmm. that we're wasting a lot of fossil fuels to ship food that would be better consumed locally. So is part of your goal to give women more opportunities, opening up local markets for women, giving them an opportunity to sell in an urban market? Yes. 
because uh, as uh, thanks from the international community that they are existing in our country and we have a lot of progress in this uh, regards because we have uh, now different markets for the women it's only for the women is products like different product handicraft agricultures or dairy products a lot of products that's uh, controlling and women has ownership of that. We have a market for it. And uh, in, in our structure of the community is different because women only cannot take her products to, to bring it to the market. Absolutely, she needs uh, her husband or family male members to support her in this uh, way. And we have, uh, we built like a UCD belt. You see the belt up, very good market uh, for the, only for the fruit and vegetables product of the Nangrahor province and Nangrahor. It's one market. And for the local market we have, in some provinces we have, we have the new building of the 4-4 market. What project you're telling me about where you connect the woman to the wholesalers? Is that a large corporate project? Who owns it? And are you also looking at microfinance projects where women are given small amounts of money to have their own individual enterprise? Or is this a fairly, the project you're talking about with the fruits and vegetables to the wholesaler? Mm -hmm. Who owns the corporation that does that? Is it a large project? Oh, it was not uh, through uh, microfinance. It was only through grant or uh, UCD other projects that uh, direct or indirect uh, helps or support these projects, financially support. Another example, uh, they provide uh, for, for male, provide the technical assistance, provide equipment, seeds, like uh, make a plant as a designing, uh, a technical assistant as I said, and then uh, as a different other aspects in agriculture, they need uh, UCD or the other donors provide for them. Like uh, there is a GTZ in my country that working, it's a German um, organization, the other European organization that they are here, there. So they, they are helping them in different direct or indirect uh, so I'm confused about the role <coughs> for the women in that project. Are they the managers? Are they the farm workers? Are they the marketers? Mm. Uh, that's why we are, uh, we are there to give them a position. In our country, women are more involved in agriculture. More or more, uh, women are more involved uh, because if a man are working in the land, a uh, woman is also helping him during his work, during the daytime, even some, some rural area, during <coughs> the night time, when men are going out to, to, for the irrigation of the lands, women are also supporting him and going f with him. So it means more are involved with him, but <coughs> women cannot be in the village level, cannot be as a manager, cannot be as a director, or cannot be as a um, ownership of the business. Mm. So how does this benefit women other than making them assistance and help meets to men? How does this make them more independent? Uh, Do they get to keep the money they make? No. No way. No, they cannot. Even in, uh, in my country, there's a few of the women. We cannot count these uh, women that they, they are access like, uh, to the money that they are earning. No. Because always uh, we are talking in the gender access and control. We are talking about this subject in the gender training. Who has access, who has control? The all control is in the male's hand. Men are more powerful in our country. And they're controlling. Even the 
uh, when um, female or the wife or uh, she's working outside the door or she's working with the organization, she has to respond for the money that she's spending to her husband or maybe to the father-in-law, to the male. I mean, to the male of the, the, the families, she's responded. Then how does this project benefit the women who participate in this agricultural project? What does it give them other than more work to do? <laughs> That's what I worry oh. about. <laughs> oh, let, let me, uh, we, we believe two things. One is a, a financial thing that uh, maybe from financial aspect that women are more uh, power, uh, powerful, or the other is uh, as a view of the respects. A woman that we distribute goods and we had livestock projects, she said that before when I come to home uh, and she, 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 she used to work in the land with her husband, she said when I come to home and there was just say, hi, you come or nothing else. But when I have goods, and after one year, my goods has more baby, and I have income source at home. Now I'm feeling I have more respect mm -hmm. from the family members. Okay. It's not important that women access or control the financial things uh, matter of the homes. We say that give them respect. Do not ignore them. Do not like a think that there is no other other person in this life or this family. We want them to just push them a little bit to, to, to have their, to be in another stage.